Happy Sunday, paper crafting friends. Come on in, join me at my studio here at the chalet. I'm getting all situated, making sure that y'all be able to see me in your news feed. Where y'all this came from, I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, that's crazy. And for some reason, oh, there we go. There we go. Now I'm cooking with gas. Okay. So, hello. Happy Sunday. It is July the 2nd already, so we're getting close to the Independence Day holiday. So, early happy 4th of July to all of you. Thank you for being here this afternoon. And as you find me in your news feed, I'm just going to babble a little bit because we always do, right? And then we get into the stamping afterwards. So, I have some fun things to share with you guys today. But we'll get into that in just a couple of minutes. First of all, because it is July, we have a new July host code right here. So if you would like to help support my small business, I so appreciate you. And make sure to go ahead and use that July host code right there. Um, if you would like my assistance, I'm here for you always. So just reach out to me and I can help you with an order. Even if you see something that's an online exclusive, I can help you order that as well, anytime. So just um, send me a message and I can help. Now, if your order is a, um, well, I should say, <clears throat> excuse me, 150 or above, make sure to not use the host code and use those host benefits. It's free product credit that you get during your order at, I think it starts at 10% of your subtotal before shipping and tax. So if you do have a $150 order or more, don't use this host code. Make sure to grab that up for yourself. I mean, that's the fun of it, right? <laughs> hello, hello, come on in. Also, um, I wanna remind you that you can join my community, my group on Facebook, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet Community. It's a lot like this, only it's a community, not just a business page like you are on right now. Hey, Evelyn. Hello. Hello. It's so good to see you. I hope that you're doing well and that you're healing. Also, and by the way, Evelyn is part of my team and I love her dearly, not just because she's part of my team, but I just love her dearly. She's a really good friend and she just had foot surgery. So send her well wishes from your way. Also, make sure to join my YouTube channel, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet, and click on that little bell until it turns black. Just click it once. You'll get all the notifications as I add things and do more with YouTube. I also have a blog where you'll see I house all of my lives, and it gives you more detailed information on the projects that we do every Sunday, and that is dawnscreativechalet.com. And also, of course, I already told you about my online store and I'm on Pinterest as well. So under Dawn Borgette Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Also, it may be under, might have an easier time finding me under Creative Queen. I, that's something that I started like when Facebook first started. It's crazy. Like who can, who can live without Pinterest? Nobody. So anyway, just wanna remind you of those. And then also, we have some upcoming events here at the Chalet. My goodness, uh, let's see here. This Friday, this Friday is Starbucks. I'm kind of going backwards here on my list. But uh, Friday is the first Friday of July, which is the 7th, noon till 2 p.m., Hope to see any of you who are local, somewhat local, to join me there. It's a free craft. Um, if you want, purchase a coffee. If not, you don't have to, or a munchie, and sip and stamp along with me. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's free, and we're seeing a lot of repeat um, guests every single month now that we've gotten into the hang of this being a... Um, 
consistent event. That was the word I was looking for in my brain. I feel it's like a scattered today. I don't know why. I don't know why I've been kind of chilling out all weekend so far. So also uh, my, my next card class, card creations class is Thursday, July 13th, which is the second Thursday of the month. Offering it at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., or 6.30 p.m. Make sure to RSVP with me by the 10th if you'd like to be here. I'd love to have you. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong. I got, like, critters in my throat today. Also, on the 4th Friday of the month, we have the Bright and Beautiful Birthday Memories and More cards. So this is a class that is product-based. I mean that it includes product with your class. So it's $44 with a $5 coupon that you can use on any size order during class. So I subtract that $5 off your order. Um, please make sure to RSVP by the 13th of July as I need to order the product. Make sure it gets here in time and prep your class uh, kit for you. So just make sure to reach out to me on that. And I do need prepayment on that as I do order product in advance for you. And like I said, I've already covered the sip and stamp, but with that, we have these beautiful little graphics that I've made. So because I've made them, I have to show them, right? <laughs> so like I said, once again, Friday, July the 7th, 12 noon to 2 p.m. Free make and take and bring a friend. If you don't want to hang out by yourself with me, bring a friend. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Trust me, it's a good time. And then for the next uh, date as well, just to give you a heads up, it'll be Friday, August the 4th, noon till 2. So you see, every first Friday of the month, the only one that we won't have the first Friday of the month will be in September because that ends up on Labor Day weekend. And with that... Um, the managers asked me nicely not to be there on such a chaotic weekend. And in our area, in little tiny Lovington, Michigan, it explodes during the summer. And that will be our last big hurrah for the summer as far as with the tourists in our area. Because we are right along the Lake Michigan shoreline with oodles of sandy beach and its wonderfulness and our beautiful sunsets and yada, 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 yada. Anyway, so it's going to be busy. So I told her I would bump it to the following Friday after Labor Day. And again, it'll be noon to two. And by the way, I'm going to touch base with her because I think that this is working out well. So I am going to go into the year of 2024, schedule it into my planner for the entire year. So again, we have consistency and you guys know where to find me when right? It makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? You can mark it on your calendar now. Make sure that you know, I know, and we'll all meet together and sip and stamp, make some pretty cards. Okay. Also, paper pumpkin is fun in the sun for July. So if you're interested in making the, this in itself are some clues. I know it's going to be cards and there's going to be some cute die cuts. Look at that little crab. <laughs> I love him. He makes me happy. So anyway, if you'd like to re um, get this kit, if you're not already part of Paper Pumpkin with me, you can do so by going over to my website, the Dawn's Creative Chalet Stampin' Up Net, and <clears throat> excuse me, sign up for Paper Pumpkin right there. And it's fun. It's a neat way to have something fun in your mailbox every single month. Anyway, so sign up by the 10th of this month if you would like to be a part of Fun in the Sun. All right. Last but not least, we have, and this is what is going to lead into our projects for today, online exclusives. So Stampin' Up! is not going to get rid of any printed publication. However, hey Kristen, hello, happy Sunday crafternoon. Um, however, they are doing a little bit more online with the online store. So with that being said, they refresh it, oh, what is it, like every other month or something like that? Maybe it's every quarter. I don't remember exactly. I think the next time will be November. So yeah. Anyway, okay, erase that thought. <laughs> Nonetheless, we have new products that will be appearing in our online store July the 6th. 
And with that being said, of course, you guys have seen previously, if you've been following me along, that we've already had some online exclusives. And some of them, for example, the Rhino dies that everybody wanted, um, this is meant to be a matter of urgency for you guys. So if there is something that I talk about that you think you're going to want, I want you to take your planner, put it in your phone so Siri reminds you, uh, whatever it takes, a sticky note on your laptop, that's what I do. I'm very old school, everything's paper, right? Along with a little bit of Siri. But usually paper works best for me, my planner, my old fashioned paper planner and a pen. Like, <laughs> never a better invention. Anyway, so July 6th, I'm not sure. I'm thinking first thing in the morning. I don't know the exact time. I'm assuming as soon as you get up, um, new online exclusives in our online stores. And they're adding some Christmassy stuff. So today we're going to work with that. But anyway, I wanted to mention to you, I did also see some more items along with this truck stamp set and the truck punch that everybody's talking about. Everybody wants it. I have seen the stamp set and the punch. I've seen how it works together uh, and it's awesome. So if you're going to want that whole bundle situation, I suggest, like I said, marking it on your planner. Um, I don't know, write it on the back of your hand, uh, a note on your computer, whatever it takes, putting it in Siri to remind you or contact me directly and I can make sure to get it for you. <clears throat> but that trucking, I think it's called trucking on bundle is going to go. And is it gonna come back? I highly doubt it because it's a Christmas item. It's not in a catalog. So with that being said, online exclusives are made to come and go. Like they're not meant to be around for a long period of time. So I always suggest as you do get online and go there often and take a peek around and see what's available, um, it's a matter of grabbing it and getting it fast. Uh, so anyway, get in the habit of that kind of a thing. So along with that, there's going to be a Hanukkah set and some other things. So if you're interested in those items, make sure, once again, I know I keep saying it, I'm going to stress it, make sure you're on there on July the 6th, grab what you want that's new before it's gone. Because unfortunately, not everything that Stampin' Up! carries is made in the USA. So then it takes more time. So they only order sometimes so much product. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. So, like I said, I know, I sound like a broken record, but grab it up fast. Um, there's not a sneaky peeky on, on this particular flyer of, is there, of the truck. I don't see it. But like I said, it's really awesome and you guys are gonna want it. It's gonna be a need, not just a want, a need. I need the truck punch and the stamp set that goes with it. All right. <laughs> You're like, yes, Dawn, all right, we got it. Okay, so today we're gonna work with some color. Aren't these beautiful? Now let me see if I can test my color skills because I did not put the labels on these yet. I wanted to try to make sure that I could figure these out. So the DSP that we're talking about today is called, doo, doo, doo. I should have known this, the One Horse Open Sleigh. You can see I've really chopped into my pack of paper. Um, there's 48 sheets in this pack of paper. And the best way to describe the paper pack is um, kind of like fairy tale illustrations, uh, animation, that type of thing. And then the back of the DSP uh, is complementary designs of it. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And it's six by six in size. And that item number, and this is one of those online exclusives, you guys, and it's it's been um, very popular with demonstrators because we can always, as a demonstrator, get everything a month in advance, which I love. Well, not every everything, but most things in advance. Um, it's going to be item number 162118, and there's four each 
of 12 double-sided designs. Woohoo. So anyway, let's go ahead with this. So in that paper, there's a lot of colors featured in that paper. So this is Pool Party, um, Lost Lagoon, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, Lemon Lolly, uh, Wild Wheat, Old Olive, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, Real Red, uh, Crush Curry, Black, Basic Black, Crumb Cake, oh my goodness, Copper Clay. I always want to call it Copper Kettle. I want to rename that color because Kettle sticks in my head. Copper Clay, Petal Path, and early espresso. So there's a gazillion colors in this paper, so the, there's a lot of mix and match that you can do with it, which I love with our color coordination of our um, cardstock, inks, ribbons, embellishments, you name it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I love visuals. I'm a visual kind of girl. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the designer paper. So it's beautiful. And so as I show you some of the samples that I've made, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, now I recognize that. Um, and don't be afraid to cut the paper, like cut it. <laughs> I know that the images are beautiful, but you, you know, and even being able to use this after Christmas, before Christmas, because as you see the other side of the paper pack, it's gorgeous. There's some really fun patterns in this. But um, you'll see where I've just literally have chopped some of this apart. <laughs> as much as it killed me and as beautiful as it is. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So then there's the back of that one. And this one here is beautiful, right? Um, and then this one's just slightly different in red. There's that cute little fox that we're going to use today. And the back of that, check that one out. This is one of my favorites. I've not used it yet, um, but I wanted to use the fox first. The problem is with this paper, they're, both sides are beautiful. So it's really hard to figure out what do I want to use and how am I going to cut it? And that's the other thing too. When you cut into this paper, check the other side of it, depending on what you're doing and what your project is. Make sure that you're aware of how you're cutting it and how you may want to use your scraps. That's one thing that I had a hard time with too. And I wasn't really thinking about that at first. And afterwards I looked at it, I was like, you know, I should have cut that the other direction if I could have. So I could have used this side in a more purposeful, more purposeful way. Is that a word? It is now. Anyway, this one is beautiful. I love the petal pink in that. Who would have thought, right? But it just goes so well. So that, like I said, there's just some really, really pretty designs. I love the little deer in the middle of the woods. This one here, I think one of my team members said it looked like Alaska. I've never been there, so I really don't know, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And I love this pattern right here. Now this is really unique, looking down on it, a totally different type of image than what we've ever had in our designer series paper, which is kind of cool. I was a little perplexed on how to use this particular pattern yet, but it's very, very cool. And then the back side as well is pretty awesome. And then we have a chalet. Look at that, you guys, just for me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't this pretty? And Lemon Lolly is in there along with the real red and the um, Mossy Meadow wreath on the door. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're using that today. Yes, I did cut that. I know, right? And then this here, using the petal pink and the Lemon Lolly. It's just so pretty in the blues, the boho blue, misty moonlight. I love it. And the itty bitty little red cardinals. And check that out for the back side. So again, you can really do a lot with this DSP. Don't just think of it as Christmas paper, right? Or the holidays. This one is gorgeous. I love this one. And then there's the back side. And I love this side too. So I'm really torn on this. I always say usually it's easy because one side you may think is like not as pretty as the other. So it's easy to chop one side. With these, not so much. And then there's this one too, which I think is just absolutely beautiful. And then that's the back side of that piece. So that gives you a sampling of all of those that are in the pack. Like I said, there's four each of um, four each of 12 double-sided designs. 
So there's 48 sheets total of six by six paper. Whew, that was a lot of stuff, wasn't it? Okay, let's get down to business. Let's do some stamping. So how many of you start your Christmas cards early? Because I know some of you are like, Christmas cards already? Are you serious? But for those of us that make cards, it takes time. It takes time to design what we like. Um, I know some people, let me ask you another question. Do you prefer to send the exact same card to every single person? Because they're not going to know, right? No one's ever going to know but you. Or do you prefer to make a lot of different cards and send them out to people? So everybody gets, not purposeful, but I mean, sometimes, like I get bored making a lot of the same cards sometimes. So do you send all the same card to everybody or do you get bored, change it up and make several different designs and then send them out for the holidays? So this first card is going to be our easiest card. So we're gonna go uh, super, super easy to, super easy to easy. <laughs> you get the point. They're all really easy cards. Easy sometimes is the best thing, right? Especially when you need to make multiple cards. So with that being said, this is card number one, and it just involves some paper layers and stamping directly onto the de designer series paper. So first of all, I have a piece of Misty Moonlight. I don't know why today it's been like stuck in my head where I'm wanting to call it something else. But Misty Moonlight to me reminds me of like a pair of blue jeans. It's just that perfect blue. And I've cut it at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, used my bone folder to get that nice crisp fold because that makes me happy. And then I'm gonna get my little cheater sheet from the back of my card. I really wanted the lemon lolly color to pop in this. I just love lemon lolly and I think it, this is really pretty with this misty moonlight blue. So the lemon lolly is cut at five by three and three quarters. And then the DSP is cut down to three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And we're gonna go ahead and grab my seal adhesive and like I said this is going to be super duper 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 easy I've seen a couple of ways that people have cut this paper down but yet feature the entire I'm going to call it a chalet because I can um and really cute anyway so we're going to go ahead and just attach this to the card with dimensionals I don't think I did on this one but we're going to be whoops a little fancier as I throw everything all over the table with this card. Oh, you know what? You know what Dawn did? We're gonna roll with it. And we're gonna pray that it works, but I should have stamped it first. But you know, it's okay. It's all good. I don't stress over it. I used to, I don't anymore. Oh, right, here's the stamp set, by the way. I forgot to show that at first. And um, I love the sentiments in it. And this is a nice little saying for the inside, especially with this one here going together outside, inside of the card. Cute little bunny here, um, little snowflakes, I'm assuming. And the horse and sleigh. The actual the images are a little bit larger than what they show on here, just by a little bit. And then these two beautiful trees. And there's also dyes with this set. Whoops, I don't know which way to go with these. <laughs> so here is the sleigh and the horse. This right here adds the um, detail to the, I wanna call it the blades of the, uh, to the sleigh, but I know that they're not called blades. There's something else, but anyway, nonetheless, you get it. Then there's also these peaks of snow, um, the dye for the bunny rabbit, around the tree and to cut out this beautiful tree right here. And I will show you some other cards I've already made so you can get a better idea of the dies themselves in just a minute or two. But anyway, beautiful set of dies that accompany this set. So you wanna get it as a bundle or actually you can even get it as a suite. And then there's also these beautiful embellishments which are the copper clay gold and white, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, snowflakes. 
and they have adhesive on the back already, so they're super easy to work with. All right, so anyway, I am going to grab, I think I used Early Espresso, and I need to grab my stamp, too. I forgot to do that. Let's see, Sending Warmth and Cheer. I'm going to go ahead. Sometimes what I like to do, too, you know, I'm going to show this first. If I'm not sure if I'm going to have room or where I'm going to put it, I will actually lay the stamp down because these photopolymer stamps are nice that we can see through them to work with them. So I'm thinking that that's just going to work. We're going to make it work. We're going to put it right there. Anyway, just a little, um, I guess, tip. Tip from the chalet. <laughs> and this is Early Espresso ink. Um, I'm going to hope that this stamp's all right, being that I've already added dimensionals to this little guy. But we'll we'll see. Okay, hold your breath. And you know, if not, there's always more paper. They make more paper. So you guys don't stress out. Well, it doesn't kind of show-ish, but you got it. You get it. All right. That is card number one. I'll go ahead and clean that off because I think I'm going to be using this sentiment a few more times. All right, card one, easy peasy, right? Like let the designer paper work for you. Try not to stress out, make it easy. Just make it easy. Now this card here, when I was away in Utah, I seen some cards displayed by Rhonda Wade, and I really love this card, and I love the layout. The I guess you want to call it a fancy fold, because it is different than a normal card, although it's not too, too fancy. It's easy peasy. But anyway, I'm going to take the notes off the back of that for myself. Nonetheless, I think it's cute. It's simple. Another very simple card. Now, I use different ribbon on mine. So what we're going to do is I've cut the crumb cake at four and a quarter by 11 inches. I've scored at five and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my bone folder and give it a nice crisp edge. And then what we're going to do is cut off, oh my gosh, I write this down. Trying to remember the dimension on this one, because I know I need to cut it down. <laughs> oh dear. Just when you think you're totally prepared, right? Okay, I believe it's three and a quarter inches. So we're going to cut that one side. You see where I've already scored. I'm going to cut that down three and a quarter inches. Ah! Now we got part of a card front. I'm kidding. So this here, I'm not going to use, but you could use it going that direction, right? I just wanted to use a different color to make the designer paper that I'm going to use pop. So I'm going to save this for a rainy day. We're going to set that aside. I've also cut a piece. Now look at that beautiful side. I know this is hard for me. I love this one, but I cut it down to five and a quarter by four. We're going to put it on the inside of the card because it's going to show a bit, obviously. And we're going to take our seal adhesive and stick him down, centering it all the way around the base inside. Just like that. Easy peasy. All right. Also, I've cut a piece of... Let's see here, this is copper clay, copper clay. I almost said copper kettle again. <laughs> and um, this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. The designer paper is three by four. I wanted to play with that little fox. I think he's just so stinking cute. So three by four, three and a quarter by four and a quarter on the copper clay, okay? And also, I've cut a piece of basic white. This is three by four. This is going to go inside the card. We'll do that in a minute. And also, <clears throat> when I cut this piece down for the inside, the DSP, I had some remainder left. So we're going to use it. 
because I'm trying to use every inch of this that I can. So this is cut at two by four, two by four. So we're gonna go ahead first of all, and we're gonna put that piece of DSP down onto the crumb cake. Look at that beautiful paper, oh no. <laughs> It's okay, you get four in a pack. It's all good. And you can always buy more, imagine that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna stick this down first. There's that beautiful wood uh, pattern that I love. Stick that down first, but before I stick it to the card, I am going to stamp. And we're going to use copper clay. This is gonna be one of my favorite colors as far as brown goes. It's such a cool color. Let's see here. I'm going to use this sentiment. Ooh, ah, how many of you have done that before? <laughs> when I say make something pretty and get inky, I mean it. We're gonna use the chamois and get that off before I make a very big boo-boo. Pardon me for just a second. <laughs> that could be really, really bad. But yeah, I've now discolored my thumb. That's funny. Okay, anyway, onward. So I'm gonna stamp it. Let's go here with it. Isn't that pretty? And I didn't get ink on it, other than where it's supposed to be. I have to laugh at myself. Oh my gosh, I'm such a hot mess in my stamp room. How about you guys? Like, there's always something that goes on. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to this flap. Kinda cool. Super easy, right? Super, super easy. Now just make sure that when you put your adhesive down, ask me how I know, um, I was in La La Land and I went ahead and put the adhesive all the way across and I was like, oh, now I can't open my card. Just put it on the left-hand side, center it-ish, you're good to go. Just like that. Also, I forgot ribbon, let's grab that. Let's grab some ribbon. Whoops. I just grabbed like a whole bunch of ribbon. Holy cow, okay. Let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and do this first of all. And normally I am really terrible when it comes to making a bow when I'm literally wrapping it around the card. Um, I don't know why, but I am. It's like sometimes it's too loose. You know what I mean? Then it just looks kind of funny, but we're going to attempt to do this. And yes, I did overcut. It's okay, because I'm gonna save it. It's all right and then we'll use the rest of it later. So we're gonna to attempt to make a bow and make sure it looks decent on the card. <laughs> there we go. Actually, that isn't too bad. Good job, Dawn. There we are. All right. And then, of course, we need to add something kind of pretty to it. So I'm gonna grab these beautiful, whoops. Aren't those gorgeous? Really, really like these. You can see I've gone through almost a whole pack of these buggers. Grab my take your pick tool, because it will help me grab what I need. And we'll add a biggie, and then a couple of little guys. Oops, actually, I'm gonna do one of every size so you guys can kind of check them out. So we got big, medium, and baby. Big, medium, baby size. All right, that is card number two. What do you guys think of that one? Again, super easy. And if you don't particularly like this part of the card, the card stock pack, or not card stock pack, the designer series paper pack, use something different, but the layout itself is just so super easy, and I've done this before. I love this easy, fun fold. All right, moving onward. Let's go with this one. This is like one of my favorite designs in the pack. 
love it. So very easy. Once again, we're just going to do some layers. Get my notes off the back of this card. All right, so this is Pebbled Path. It's one of our new in colors. I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and going to once again. Now I never really thought a bone folder was a big deal, but it's gotta be one of the smartest purchases as a card maker that you can grab. It really does make a difference when you're putting a crease into your cardstock because our cardstock is like hefty it's beefy and so it just helps to give that nice clean crisp look love it i know <laughs> i'm a little crazy when it comes to paper but what can i say oh you know what i did not cut my dsp i don't think Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to wing it. It's all right. So I'm going to go ahead. This is a piece of four by five and a quarter piece of basic white. Put it inside as a liner in your card. And then this piece of pool party is five by three and three quarters. So I need to get a piece of designer paper. No, that's okay. That just means I get to hang out with you guys a little bit longer. And we're going to hopefully find that piece here. Is that it? Nope, that's the deer. I could always pick something else though. I mean, why not? <clears throat> or also, hmm, okay. Let's go ahead, we're going to use something completely different, I think. Nah, I don't know. Let me pick a couple out and you guys can help me figure out which one to use. Oh wait, no, that is it. There we go. Okay, bingo, have a winner. Have a winner. <laughs> All right, so we're going to cut this piece of paper at three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see here. I'm gonna cut this down. I don't want all this extra stuff in here. So let's go with cutting it there. So, oh, did I cut that too small? No, okay, good. So three and seven eighths, in fact, I almost had it precise by four and seven eighths. And I'm gonna keep that. I can use that for something. I love keeping my scraps. I mean, if they're too, too tiny, then may, oh, wait a minute. I cut that wrong. Let me trim that down. Okay. Three and seven. Oh, no way. Okay, so four and seven eighths by three. Aha, there we go. I found my boo boo. There we are. Okay. You're like, dang, girl, you're all normally always prepared. In fact, that's still. How many of you just keep trimming? Trim, trim, trim. All good. There we go. Just when I thought I was so prepared for today. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna find my adhesive. Oh, I love that side too. It's so pretty. And just like so. I'm going to go ahead and put this down with dimensionals. I can never have enough of these. I need a lifetime supply of dimensionals. Whoops. And before I actually pop this down, I need to add my ribbon. I think my brain is working ahead of what I'm thinking today. That's all right. We didn't glue it down yet. It's all good. I'm gonna put that across. This is um, gross grain ribbon in Pool Party, and it's in our annual catalog 
So it's available all year. How cool is that? Pool Party is like one of those go-to colors for so much. All right, so we're gonna stick this down now. Now we're safe to do that. There we go. See, no one will ever know that I made a couple boo-boos along the way. And then I've already uh, run this through with a die from the Stylish Shapes and my stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. And we are going to use Pebbled Path. Pebbled Path Ink, one of our new in colors. And go ahead, ink up my sentiment. Actually, I'm being naughty. I should be using my piercing mat with these photopolymer stamps, but I'm having pretty good luck without it today. Now watch, just because I said that, <laughs> there's gonna be something that happens kind of goofy. But that came out really good. That's a good thing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach this. I think for this one, I popped this up with dimensionals. For this, we're gonna do something a little different. I feel like changing it up as if, right? And put that on just like so. And then I already tied a bow. And we're going to use a couple of mini glue dots and just put that booger right in place. And there we go. And that's card number three already. So like I said, just easy. And we're kind of building up, doing some layers, that kind of thing. See what you like the best. But they're all super easy. It's just a matter of cutting properly with the right measurements and layering your cards. Okay, we have one more, you guys. Just because I put one more in with the bunch um, to show you once again how you can do simple cards with this designer paper. So this time I've chosen Pool Party as a card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Bone folder once again. Make sure you get that beautiful crease. That sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? But hey. I'm a nerd with my cardstock. Okie dokie. So I've cut a piece once again um, of basic white, four by five and a quarter, and put this inside the card. Just like so. Easy peasy. And then once again, see, I've cut this down to five by three and three quarter inches. This is early espresso. Our DSP, once again, was cut to three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And we're going to layer these together. Whoops. There we go. Just like that. I love that just a little bit showing. Sometimes I just think it looks a little extra elegant. Um, this time we're not gonna wrap the ribbon around it. We're just gonna add a bow. So for this, full piece, we're going to add this to the card base with dimensionals. <laughs> I'm sure you guys just say it along with me every time now, right? And go ahead, peel these little puppies off. I have found some of these little backings in the bathroom the other day. They obviously were stuck to the bottoms of my shoes. They just kind of follow me everywhere in the house. It's funny where they end up sometimes. All right, there we go. And once again, I cut this shape out with the Stylish Shapes and the Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. That pack of the Stylish Shapes is like my go-to. Um, also, doo -doo -doo. Hmm. I thought, I bet it's on the floor, a bow. <laughs> the bow flew away. Anyway, nonetheless, let's go ahead and grab the stamp. And we're going to stamp it with Early Espresso. Same sentiment once again. This time, I think I'll stamp the inside of this one. I know you guys never see me stamp the insides. I don't know why. I just, I'm always so concentrated on the front of the card. 
So we're going to go ahead and get the other stamp. And then we'll need to tie a bow since I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it, all right. Okay. And Happy New Year gets me singing that. <laughs> I just can't help myself. All right, so we're going to stamp that. Whoops. Make sure you have enough ink. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I have a glue dot that's stuck to my block, and it's hindering my vision of my A. But, yep, yeah, there's enough ink on there. All righty. And then we're going to go ahead and... Sorry about that. I think I just shook all of you right along with me. I'm going to go ahead and attach that with dimensionals. See, the purpose of doing Christmas in July is that it's like a cooling down effect. If you think it's cold outside, then it's going to feel better outside to you, right? It's not going to be so hot. Well, okay, that's my silly story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this over towards the right just slightly, and then we're going to make a bow. Cut me some ribbon. And this time, I'm not going to use my bow maker, so we'll see what comes out of this. So I don't know about you guys, like, I've had my bow maker for a while, and that spoiled me. But prior to me having a bow maker, this is how I used to make my bows. And I was told it's very elementary, but I was like, well, it works for me. <laughs> so if you guys have a problem tying bows, what I like to do is I call them two bunny ears. So we loop two together and then tie it like you tie a shoe. And I don't know, I don't think it's that elementary. What do you guys think? Considering I didn't have my bow maker, there we go. And then trim your tails. Not too bad considering. And then we'll stick it on with some mini glue dots. Now remember, don't go away because we're not done yet. I have some really cool samples to show you guys. Ooh, that's a big bow. <laughs> oh, and we need to add, because I forgot on the last card, some of these. We can't forget those beautiful snowflakes, right? Ooh, and I just stabbed my finger. That felt good. There we are. And there we go. We'll stick one there. That's pretty. All right. So first of all, let's round them up. So we have this card that we've just finished. And we have this card right here. This card right here. And that little beautiful chalet card right here. We're going to show this one because sentiment shows better. But which one, whoops, I'm going to scoop this up a little bit. Which one is your favorite? Like, I don't know. Like I said, they're super, super easy. But sometimes I get so into trying to make something that's so over the top. Sometimes we need to reverse back, right? Let that paper work for you. So anyway, those are the four cards for today. But let me show you some cards where some of them have a little more of the over-the-top or the avid crafter to it. First of all, I want to give a shout-out to Tammy White. When I seen her cards and when I first got my uh, goodies, I wasn't sure what to do with the paper because it was all so pretty and I didn't want to cut it. But this card is an over-the-top. It's a Z-fold or a double Z-fold card, okay? And it just gives the whole piece of... In fact, if you're going to use this particular paper doing the Z-card, you'll need two pieces of this paper if you want it to continue all the way across. But um, if you don't, that's okay, too. There are no rules, right? We're paper crafters and it's art and anything goes. So, hey Pam, hi. 
It's good to have you here. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you popping on in. I got so involved in my cards. So anyway, I have to give credit to her. It's a beautiful card, and I had to recreate it. I just absolutely love it. And when I was telling you guys about those dyes with the um, trees, that's the tree dye right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, I, I love it. And this card makes me very happy. And then also, let me grab some others here. So the card that we did with the fox, I have another card where we cut it down, cut off three and a quarter inches off the card front. Oops, I forgot to put the liner inside the other one, didn't I? But anyway, I love this card. I love the colors. I think it's just so darn pretty. So this is the Midnight or um, Misty Moonlight misty moonlight and petal pink together it's gorgeous and then i love that wood grain you guys can't really see a whole lot of it but it's just enough of it there right love it love it love it you learn from the best i don't know who that would be <laughs> evelyn i love you um and here's another card this is the one with the little deer that's peeking from the woods and this card here, this is another over-the-top card. Now, his name is Martin. He is a um, artisan for Stampin' Up! And this last weekend, we had a special event just for demonstrators, which I, I just love this event. It's called Creativity Now. And it was only like three hours in length, but we had gotten so many cool ideas, and it was just chock full of information. I seen this card being made and I was like, I have to make it. You guys ready? Isn't that pretty? And it really isn't that difficult. So um, what I did is I used a circle punch and I used it as a mask. And then I went ahead and used my blends and used the blending all around and then stamp some trees and then I cut out the tree dye four times. I also ripped some paper. I added some pool party up here just to give it a little depth and then the sentiment in real red. I just, I love this card. It is just so pretty, but I don't think I'd want to make like 50 of these. <laughs> Unless you start now and you do a couple a day and if you really love the people you send them to and they'll appreciate all the work that was done. And then also I used this same piece right in here. So I just flipped this piece around after and used it. So I kind of recycled it. So this is just torn paper and then I just slightly um, adding just a little tiny bit of ink. I didn't re-ink my blending brush and I made these little extra um, clouds into the moon. Isn't that cool? Like I just love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, also, there's this card here. This is, again, another one of those cards where I just layered a couple pieces of cardstock, let the DSP do its work, and went ahead and stamped the sentiment in Mossy Meadow. And then we have this card here, that piece that we were show, or sharing earlier that has a lot of the lemon lolly in it, which is a hint of the red, and I just think that that was kind of fun. Something really different for a Christmas card, right? And then again, just like the Z Fold card, I love this one with the, um, I don't know if that's a chalet or a church. I'm not sure which it is. What do you guys think that is? Anyway, nonetheless, it's super cute. The scenery is absolutely beautiful and I just wanted to make another card with that particular piece of DSP. There are a couple of these I've already put into the plastic um, envelopes. So bear with me on a little bit of the glare. But here's another one where I wanted to use that snowy chalet. And again, just cutting out um, in Pebble Path and Boho Blue those trees and cut this circle out with the stitching on it with the stylish shapes and that wood grain, which I just oh, I absolutely love. And I actually use the Joyful in that, that smaller sentiment stamp. 
This is another card that I kind of sort of case, but kind of didn't. I was trying to do my own thing, and then I realized I'm not sure if I really care for it. But nonetheless, I just wanted that shadow effect of the people, the sleigh, and the horse. So I just cut out with black the die from it, which is actually the outline to the stamp that is all one piece. Whoops of the sh um, the sleigh, the people, and the horse. So I didn't do any stamping, I just ran it through in black. But I think what I would do next time, just as Tammy did herself, is stamp this image in black and then color it all in black and then you get a better, how do I wanna say, detail in it. Whereas this almost just kind of loses the detail of the beautiful sleigh, the people, and the horse. But I thought I'd give it a try. Always got to try, right? And then also, I decided to try my <laughs> coloring on the sleigh, the people, and not do too much with the horse. Um, you can see that coloring is not my strong suit, but I gave it my all with the, <laughs> with the uh, Stampin' Blends. And you can go to town on any colors that you like. And, oh, and also... I did cut some of those trees. Once again, that is in, I believe, um, crumb cake. And then, of course, using those snowflakes as well, right there. And then the last one, where again, I attempted, I attempted to color a little bit more with the horse and again, the sleigh and the people um, and tying in the colors that were used in the designer paper to make it all coordinate together. Again, that's one of the things that I love about Stampin' Up! is the coordination of inks, markers, blends, cardstock, DSP, all the things, right? Um, it just makes it simpler to put projects together. So with that being said, I have something special to announce. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so July 10th through the 14th, so that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Every day at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I think the only day I have to pre-record is on Thursday. Yeah, because Thursday is class day, and I have a few coming at, in the 1 p.m. time slot. So I'm going to have to pre-record that. But July 10th through the 14th, we're going to have um, shorter presentations from here at the Chalet with quicker Facebook Lives. And it's going to be one project every day for five days. Um, showing you something Christmassy and with our new products or maybe something that we've had that is carried over in our annual catalog. Um, so that again is July 10th through the 14th, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be like 15 minute to 30 minute blips. So hop on and join me for some Christmas fun. And I have a couple of things I've been thinking about to play with when we're together all that week. We have that trucking on bundle. So I would like to use that. Hopefully it won't sell out, but for those of you who get it, at least you may walk away with a couple of fun ideas with that bundle if you are one of the lucky people that get it. Because like I said, I know it's gonna sell out. I just know it. I just have that anxiety about it. <laughs> also, we're going to do a different Z Fold card. So if you've never done that Z Fold card that I was showing you, we're going to use some different designs and we're going to do a Z Fold card so you can learn how to do that. They're actually very easy. It looks like a lot more intimidating than what it is. We're also, I think, going to do some sort of a gift card holder because like I said, we're thinking Christmas, right? Getting you in the mood uh, of Christmas time, the holidays, and getting you set up to be successful and be able to work on your Christmas crafting up through and not be stressed out, right? And then also I was thinking maybe using that Cracker Treat Box possibly. I have not played with that yet, so maybe doing that one day. And then I almost thought about maybe a sampler. If I can get really ambitious, but something. So there's going to be five days of Christmas projects, July 10th through the 14th, right here on my business page of Dawn's Creative Chalet at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time every single day that week. So it'll be fun, right? So I'm super excited about that. Um, and I'll pop some reminders in there as well. 
All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. I love that you're here with me. And for those of you watching the replay, thank you. And do say hi, even if you're watching the replay. I love to see who has viewed it and where you're viewing from. It's always a lot of fun. All right, guys, make it a great rest of your holiday weekend. Happy Independence Day. Happy Fourth of July. And I will see you next Sunday, Crafternoon, right here at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Be safe. Have a great holiday. Bye-bye.